Hi everyone, my name is Anne Glasscock and I'm the Assistant Curator at the Taft Museum of Art. I want to welcome you to Taft Chat, a virtual series that focuses on highlights from the museum's collection. I will spend the next few minutes discussing an exceptional ivory carving of the Virgin and Child that was made in France around the year 1260. It is considered one of the world's most important medieval ivory sculptures. Elegantly posed, the Virgin carries her weight on one leg, emphasizing the sway or curve of her body. On her left hip, she supports the Christ child who points to a rose, a flower often associated with purity and the Virgin Mary. In his right hand, he holds a small sphere, either an apple alluding to the fruit of salvation or an orb, a symbol of Christ's sovereignty as a spiritual ruler. The tender interaction between these two figures, mother and child, as well as the skill and control of the carving and the attention to detail, truly make this sculpture the product of a highly gifted, albeit unknown, artisan. Originally, the Taft Virgin and Child was kept in the Royal Abbey Church of Saint-Denis, the burial place of French kings and queens. An object of devotion, it was placed atop an altar or shrine, where it stood prominently in the center with two angels on either side. A third angel, now lost, would have crowned the Virgin from above. Scholars suggest that this group either fit into a base or is part of some sort of architectural framework, also missing. Fast forwarding to 1794, during the French Revolution, the precious works of art from Saint Denis' treasury, including the Virgin and Child, were confiscated. Church treasuries were filled with valuable objects, including altarpieces, chalices, and reliquaries made from precious materials such as gold, silver, and ivory. They were especially vulnerable during the revolution as many objects were either sold or if made from a precious metal, melted down. The latter was likely the case for the Virgin's original bejeweled gold crown and brooch, both of which were replaced in the 19th century with the ivory brooch and silver crown you see here. Although the French government returned the Virgin and Child to the Catholic Church in 1802, it was later sold to a private collector. Eventually, it came onto the market once again, and Charles and Anna Taft, the museum's founders, purchased it in 1924. At that time, the sculpture's royal origins were unknown to the Taft. Decades later, a scholar finally identified it as the lost Virgin of Saint Denis. Its incredible history and its fine craftsmanship make the Taft Virgin and Child one of the most remarkable medieval ivory sculptures in the world, as well as a much loved object in the museum's collection. To find more videos like this, follow the Taft Chat series on the Taft Museum of Arts social media pages, and by following hashtag Taft Museum Discovered. Thanks for spending a few minutes of your time with me and have a wonderful day.